Hello, my name is Jack Thurber, and welcome back to another episode of A Chair Between. Today, we have Xavion Gonzalez, right? Gonzal. Gonzal. I'm sorry. It's fine. The V is right. silent. All right. Well, our topic today is going to be about music. Uh, I thought this would be an interesting topic because I I was in band for like seven years. I'm kind of like an ex bandy. Yeah. I'd say that. I don't know if were you in band? Uh, for a no. Little bit? No. I did but, a music production for six to five years, and still am. Cool. And you you make your own songs and yeah, you, yeah. Yeah, I personally didn't, don't do that. <laughs> That's it's, it's a lot of effort. Yeah. Um, but I recently have been building my Spotify playlist back up. I I wasn't ever like the type to listen to music a lot, but ever since I got my car, I've been I've been listening to a lot of music. Yeah. When you get a vehicle, you or like any mode of transportation, you, you start building up a playlist really quick. Mm -hmm. And I I, re I really have been trying to find a taste in music for me. Yeah. Which I found is just like a lot of the stuff that my my mom listens to. <laughs> I don't I don't know what what's what's your taste in music. Well, for me, it's like classic rap or some of the newer underground artists, and it's more because with like the classics, you know, they're classics. You can't really knock them. And with the underground, it's so experimental there now. It kind of shifted from like what it was going on in 2019 and 2018 with like trap and all that, and we're now moving into like hyper pop, glitch core. And all these weird like subgenres that just underground has really been taken a hold of. What what's glitchcore? I've never. Glitchcore is a subgenre to hyperpop, which mixes different elements of metal trap and hyperpop to get a very grungy and sort of distorted and glitchy sort of style. Mm, so you're listening to all those like funky beats and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I you could know. say, yeah. I, my, like, music taste, personally, it's, I like a lot of, like, the early 2000s, like, 90s stuff. Yeah. You know, like, the classic, like, oh, emo, or, like, n not exactly emo, but grunge, indie, yeah. kind of metal. I mean, you can never go wrong with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One of my favorite bands is Green Day. Oh, they're Green really Day. good. Yeah. yeah. I really wanted to just make you mad by saying, oh, yeah, Boulevard of Dreams. <laughs> it's the only song they did. No. Um, that got everybody has Nirvana in their playlist. Yeah. Who doesn't? I, I have a remix of it by um, Witches. Because he did a more, like, how do I put it, like, alt mix. And you know how alt has, like, different meanings to each genre. Mm -hmm. To rap, specifically, it's... You take a hold of like what alt has became with rock and all that, and then basically just put a beat or some on it. Hmm. I feel that like certain types of genres of music, there's like a time and place for it. Yeah. Like sometimes I myself will listen to rap, not usually by myself, but if I'm like with a group, with the homies, yeah, we're just vibing. That's I feel because. You know, everybody has their own taste. I really can listen to anything except for, like, maybe country. I don't mind country, though, personally. Like, sitting around a fire. Yeah. I, place. Me, personally, I was born in the South, but I genuinely hate country with a outright passion. It, it's gone to the point where if I know that I need to get something done and I don't know if I'm going to be able to, I will blast country music and speed run it because I don't want to listen to it anymore. <laughs> I, I mean, it's not... Horrible. I just it's just something that I yeah. want to listen to. For me, I it's not that I think country is bad, it's just I've heard too much of it. When you live in like an area like Tennessee where the economy is so bad that most of what people do is just work is probably gonna pay me like maybe a good little five hundred maybe. Hmm. I'll just play my little guitar and then sing a country diddle. Trucks, girls, campfires. <laughs> you already know the whole shebang. Yeah. It's nice talking to you about music, though. Um, yeah. I, I, I need to expand my Spotify playlist because there's only like 200 songs on it, but I'm working on it. Well, if you yeah. want, I can always give you, you know, some good suggestions Thanks. I have. But uh, everybody, this was Xavion. And uh, yeah, nice talking to you. Nice talking to you.